I would love to help share two tools that I have stumbled upon slash created that can really help you on your journey, on your path forward to opening up and working on your issues, getting through all this stuff, all the lovely stuff that we love to do, right? So for those of you that don't know me, hello, my name is Adriana. I am an intuitive reader, but I'm also a visual artist. These are some of my creations behind me. And um, it is precisely this combination of artwork plus intuitive reading that creates this awesome healing and um, really special and unique experience for you. I'm not sure of anything else that's exactly like this. So if you don't know what an intuitive reading is, I've got other videos on uh, my channel that you can check out. I'm going to kind of assume you know what it is, but in a nutshell, I use the tarot cards to bring messages from the other side. I lay out the spread and I hear the messages from your guides as well as just the, the divine spiritual energy that comes through. So it looks at where you are, where you want to be and where you need to be going. And what I also discovered that I could do because, you know, I love to do tarot so much, but I also really love to paint. Um, but you know, sometimes painting, especially the kinds I do are, it's a little bit weird, right? <laughs> a little bit abstract. And I thought, well, how could I combine these creative gifts to create something that's really healing and helpful and empowering for people? And I came up with this idea. So I'm able to bring forth messages from your guides and from the other side in just a one sentence or one phrase that you would need to say over and over to yourself every day to help you get to the next stage on your path. So that's information that I have access to. But when we combine that with colors, when we combine that with shapes, you get something completely even more multidimensional than just a sentence, right? Because the colors activate the chakras within you. They stimulate the chakras to vibrate, the ones that need to open. Chakras are those energy centers that we need to have balance to, <laughs> to be living our best life, really. Um, and that's just always a work in progress. But anyway, it stimulates those, those chakras. It stimulates that opening. And it also just kind of Colors talk to us on a subconscious level more than words do, or and sometimes in addition to words. So when you look at this combination of words, you're not only reminded of that awesome experience of connecting to the divine that we had in your intuitive reading, you have this little portion that also kind of pushes you forward. So you don't have to remember every word in the reading. You don't have to remember everything we talked about. We have this little takeaway that you can take with you. I'll show you an example really quickly, and I'm so sorry the words are going to appear backwards because, because this will mirror the image, so that might be a metaphor. <laughs> so this one, if you could read it, it says, I am embracing my true self. All right, now we look at the vibrance of this soul. It's got the expressiveness of the orange. We have the truth and the openness of the blue, the heart chakra. We have the empowerment of the yellow. And I mean, this soul is like, it's ready for a party, right? This reminds me of the beach. And the green, I am embracing the love. That's in the color of the heart chakra. So this is all about, this person really needs to activate kind of the torso, right? We're not seeing so much of the crown, the intuition or the root, but this is all about right here. So this person is being reminded of how open and expressive and vibrant and loving their soul is. So without even reading these words, <laughs> I know you really can't read them, without even reading them, you see that you're reminded of who your soul is. And that's the most important thing. We get so lost in our ego and our personality and our belief systems that we forget we are actually divine beings. And a quick glance at this is all you need to remember that you are connected to the divine, that you're connected to everything around you, and that you're always loved. Mm -hmm.